All right, people, back in the game here. All right, um, what we're gonna do tonight is uh, what food or fish food is important, okay? And how to figure it out. Okay, let's quickly get through this and be done with it. It's my first week back after morning sassy, but anyway, let's go. All right, this is what is important. Y'all can read most of this. Maybe some of you can. I'm on a 22 inch monitor, but uh, fish diet should be low in fat, three to six percent, uh, fiber omnivores. Now, y'all do understand the difference between carnivores, omnivores, and herbivores. Carnivores is mainly only meat. Omnivores go either way. Herbivores is your catfish, yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, they're going to eat... Uh, usually plant matter sometimes they're going to eat leftover waste of fish or whatever but anyway general guideline so anyway omnivores um um fiber about four percent five to ten max herbivores protein protein omnivores 45 percent herbivores 15 to 30 percent young fish 50 percent plus um I would recommend egg flake and other things that I sell, okay? Um, vitamins are important. Uh, there's a lot of vitamins in my stuff, like Stabilized C, um, which is, I believe, pretty important. Um, vitamin B, I think a lot of my stuff has vitamin B1 in there um, for the health of the fish. Um, and again, make sure your food is for freshwater live bears, okay? That they meet these requirements. I'm not talking about, you know, your egg layers. I'm not talking about Tetris. I'm not talking about anything else. I'm only talking about live bears and bottom feeders. Um, mainly not bottom feeders as, as much, but uh, that's fine. Because the requirements on, you know, Tetris and this and that, and obviously piranhas are going to be completely different than where I'm going, okay? So it just does not apply to those. Or um, inverts. Um, what do you mean by inverts? I'm not talking about snails. I'm not talking about, um, you know, shrimp, um, uh, crawdads, or any of that stuff. You know, that's completely different. We're just dealing with live bear fish. Um, and it, it should apply to sword tails, mollies, uh, guppies, and that's about it. I'm not even going to get into gooliads and, uh, mosquito fish and all them others because those are completely different as well. Y'all know mainly I'm a guppy person, but anyway, let's continue. Um, the order of ingredients is by law. They have to be listed in order, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, my earthworm flake, for instance, is this. Salmon fish meal. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> you're going to ask, is that any different regular fish meal? Um, I think so. Because what it should say is whole salmon fish meal. Um, but, fish meal is fish meal. Let's get real, people. Uh, fish eat fish, right? Uh, that's what they do in the wild. They eat insects, they eat whatever. Um, some of these things are slight fillers, okay? Um, but you know, those dried earthworms is what? The one, two, three. The fifth ingredient on the list. Freeze-dried plankton, six. Awesome. Freeze-dried krill brine shrimp. Dried spirulina, that's good for the greens. Garlic powder, which is awesome for the immune system. Uh, I don't know what that is. I know, um, a stabilized vitamin C is good for the immune system. Fish oil is great. Vitamin B helps fight immune. A, I didn't even realize I had A in there. Okay. Um, biotin and some coloring. Um, but they're all natural ingredients. No preserve this. Um, just look. Minimum crude proteins, 45%. Minimum crude fat, 4%. Crude fiber, 4%. Maximum moisture is 8%. And 
Why is maximum uh, maximum moisture help? Because it's not filler. You know, the less moisture in there, the less weight the fish takes, and the, you know, the more flake you get. All right, let's go to here, Rapashi. Now, now keep in mind, my earthworm flake, I would consider a connoisseur, a higher end food, okay, versus tetramine or whatever you're going to get at Walmart, okay? That's bargain basement stuff. Will it keep the fish alive? Yes. Will it keep them happy? Yes. We'll get into that. <clears throat> um, but anyway, um, the Rapashi is a step above mine. <clears throat> That'd probably be, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness gracious, um, an A++ type food. Now look at this. Krill meal right off the bat. Um, alfalfa leaf meal, that sounds good. Squid meal, pea protein, isolate, fish meal. And again, we've stabilized, or we said that's about anything, honestly. Um, seaweed, some fillers, coconut meal, not sure what that does. Ground flaxseed, don't know. Algae meal, fine, no problem. Um, and you can go down the whole list. A lot of this stuff, I honestly have no no idea what it does but this is a much more expensive food probably because of the main ingredients are off the bat you know squid krill you know this and that um i don't know take it for what it's worth but crude protein 40 percent crude fat eight fiber eight moisture eight uh ash max is nine percent so, crude is 40, minus 45, crude fat minimum 8%, minus 4, okay. Uh, fiber max is uh, 8%, I'm 4%, maximum moisture on mine is 8, and theirs is 8. Um, I, this stuff is just great, because, it, you know, it's in a gel form, and it lasts a long time. Um, I don't know that I would put a huge premium over top of mine. But anyway, let's keep going. All right. Do you have to mix foods and use premium food? No. No is a short answer. Um, is my food, my private labeled food, the end all cure or rip hashy, or I don't care what line you're going to go down. Okay. No. Okay. There's a lot of foods on the market, people. A lot of foods. Um, most will be nu nutritionally fine, okay? So, I don't know. You want to feed your dog the same food every day, day after day after day after day? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Maybe you mix it up. Like um, with my cats, rest in peace, Sassy. Um, my goodness, oh, there's about eight different foods I mix it up with. Um, well, with the remaining cats now. Um, with her, she had to have a little bit more of a specialized diet, if you will, because of her uh, diabetes and kidney disease and everything else. Although, the other cats would eat it too. So, anyway, no. The answer is no. If you want to be low cost about it, buy budget foods, get tetramine or tetramine, I don't know how you pronounce it, from Walmart. Will your fish live on that alone? Yeah. Will they live to the best of their ability? No. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, can you bring the best colors out in them only using one food? No. You know, there's brine shrimp flakes, man. That's going to help pop... Um, some reds and some fish help pop blues and others. There's uh, many, many different foods. And algae food will help pop greens on some. And obviously, if you're not only, if you're doing a community tank, you need to pop foods anyway because your, you know, catfish, you know, quarries or placos or bristle noses or, you know, uh, brine or, or your red cherry shrimp and whatever they need all different food requirements okay so all right let's kind of 
keep going here. Um, I say do this. Just get you the normal foods. You know, buy two or three. Matter of fact, I I love to use uh fresh um freaking um uh brine uh, newly hatched brine shrimp. I like frozen foods. You know, whether it's um. I can't think of it right now. There's four or five different frozen foods that Hikari makes. Um, just try them all and mix them up. Don't give them the same freaking thing every day. In other words, even if you bought my premium line, Earthworm Flake, don't feed them that every day, people, because you're going to gut bust them and not bring out the colors. Now, what, what I'll do is I'll take um, that and I'll mix it down with 50% tropical flake. Again, I make that as well. Um, and sometimes I'll just chop in there different things. green beans. Every once in a while, throw a few green beans or a zucchini in the tank. Mix it all up. They require a varied diet, okay, to make them the best that they can possibly be. Um, I don't know about carrots and all that other stuff. I know most greens, zucchini, cucumber, green beans, peas. Peas is really good um, if you're having bloating issues or other things. So keep it all in line, okay? So anyway, let's keep this going. Um, but don't feed them the same freaking thing every day. Please, people, if you love your fish like you love your cats and dogs and your mom <laughs> you know maybe your brother i don't know <laughs> just feed them something different um in short just treat your dogs and cats like you would you know um i, I know this is a plug for me i've got a bunch more fish foods coming in and yada 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 just vary the diet up so hope some of that helped Jumping off here. Laters. Love each and every one of you. How do I end this thing? Oh, always. End, end.